jinkies! Oh, oh, hey, Angry Fire fans, I didn't see you there. And, uh, welcome back to Fallout 4. So today we're basically going to solve, uh, as you see, we're going to solve a mystery. We're going to obtain the key from, from Earl Sterling's house and then search Earl Sterling's house for clues. Because something happened to him, so let's, let's get it on with it then. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, we're on the road to 200 subscribers, all that good stuff. I know you guys like my shorts, but if you could watch at least my... Yeah, a little bit of this, I'd really appreciate it, and let's begin. Oh, God. Go check that out. Maybe hey, if I could tell him that I'm up to it. Check it out. Take a look. I'd like not to have to say this again. No. Get off your knee. Peace. Look like a jackass. Why does it like pick the lock? This is a caught pickpocket. Geneva. Enjoy your new home. We you have your permit. Anything else? This office can't help you. We're really busy right now. Excuse me. You hear about that settlement? The covenant? Nice. <laughs> well, that that didn't do anything. Let's see. Pick-locking and the owner's now hostile. The owner's not even here. Start in here. Why don't you check out the living room? Must be some hint where that boy ran off to. You know, for all the talk, I put the chances of this being an institute snatch job somewhere between zero and nine. Just think about it. Earl Sterling, what local did? assistant bartender. Dang it! Now I gotta go back. Hold on. Now everybody wants to kill me. Everybody wants to kill me. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, after having to get the key, which I'm uh, which was yeah, mods are being used in this in this game. I'm just gonna tell how it is. We're gonna do this and uh I had to get the key from the cheat room. Just to unlock this without getting any, and then wait till nightfall just for everybody to go to sleep so everybody can not bother me. Start in here. Why don't you check out the living room? Must be some hint where that boy ran off to. You know.
know, for all the talk, I put the chances of this being an institute snatch job somewhere between zero and five. Think about it. Girls, darling, some points in the last person you'd ever suspect category. Why not snatch someone with charm? Someone who could get you what you want. Earl could barely get you a drink by closing on a busy night. So why does that leave his own enemies? Wasn't much for the great outdoors, so likely not raiders or mutants. No, this all screams accident. What was Earl into that might have gotten him in this kind of trouble? No. Hey, come here. You have found something. Surgery center, huh? I'm listening. A receipt from the mega surgery center, huh? Doctors have to say about that. All right, let's go. Hey, Doc. This better be an emergency. Anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. Could use some supplies, actually. Uh, Let's see what I can spare. All right, uh, take raid X, raid away in Simpax. Uh, you can have all this beer. And this is what we call and these mementos and this medics and the purified water and then we're good Doc Don't dally If you're here to be examined let's get you examined Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him he had to get something out of the surgery cellar probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around Anyway we should get back to your immediate medical requirements I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? You know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? Gretton, investigate missing person. I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? You're talking about Earl, aren't you? You can't honestly think... You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest. Here. Go see for yourself. But if I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. I still believe I have to pay for it anyway. Where'd all this money come from? It goes right into the basement. I could see it. Earl. You've, you've really been a handful, you know. Doctor. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. Sure. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't. Good patients get a nice new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life! You've killed a man, Doctor. You're going to pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. And let's not do anything rash. Huh. I. I did it, didn't I? 
can fix anything. Okay. What's we going on? Is that Dr. Crocker? I think you owe me an explanation. Where are you going? Looks like I'm reporting this. Oh my God! Look at this mess. I'll be informing Diamond City Security about what happened here. Everyone will know what Dr. Crocker did to Pearl. Doc. You should go. This is my surgery. Great. Can't blame ourselves. That man decided to die. Hey. Do something for you? So, the doctor did it, huh? Yeah, there's a cliche, all right. It's buried underneath your bad sense of humor. You keep that kind of talk up, I might just start thinking we're friends. And talk to Ellie. She's got the caps you earned. All right. Sterling ran off to? Still wrapping things up, cops killed things. Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. Crocker killed himself. He couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry to. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Thanks again for closing this one out. Good. You know, I can't guarantee it'll be any brighter, but we did have another case lying around if you're interested. Like was mixed with him. Emphasis on the words. He must have been some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time. Yes. Next mystery, let's go. Thinking uh. you old bucket of bolts, it's Marty. I know it's been a while, but I came across a little mystery. I thought it might get your circuits firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Faneuil Hall? Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything to him, but the guy was a coppersmith. Way back when folks did shit like that. Apparently this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. Find the gilded grasshopper, okay. Brotherhood of Steel, Recon Team 429 Alpha, Serial Number. Right. If you see him, tell Marty. 
Maddie, I say. Hey, where's my 20 caps, you old lech? Also, hi. Let's get over there, and I will see you in a minute. Alright, here we go. Use my nail gun. There we go. Stop right there. Got him. There we go. There you go. Right in the head. Hey. Take a look. Uh, here, hold my junk. Give me a grenade, man. You have some of that. Go, old man. Take that. <laughs> the, 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 the agent didn't even do anything. He went inside, didn't he? You save me, human. This. Came back out, huh? There you go. This Here's what I've got. Yeah, here's what I've got that you gotta hold. Just 
take my pills. Fucking cow! Alright, here we go. Yeah, poke your head out real quick so I can shoot it. There you go. Stop! Human is friend. Yeah, we didn't listen, so got shot. Take that freaking little we'll top out. Really want this. Yeah, take all this money. And this rifle. Let's use a pull. Need help? And uh, let's see. There you go. There's This was hey. well, certainly gives new meaning to the phrase tourist trap. Heads up. Oh, come on, you are a freaking robot. I'm listening. Your lift capacity should be near limitless. Yeah, there 
right in the butt, and then you take one right in the head. Just play it. That was nice. You give me your jump. Alright! Got plasma infused rifle, that's good. Take your stuff. We need to figure out why we came here.
So we're gonna, it's, it's gallery, so we're gonna be right there, and then we'll come right back. See you there. All right, here we're gonna find the we're gonna find the grave now. Let's go. Alright, here it is. And it's with you. Apparently I just got a random shovel in my hand. Sound upset. What? Oh, no. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. Gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a... I figured I'd offer to balance the board. What's with the outfit? After I started the agency, it just seemed like the sort of thing a detective ought to wear. I got some old memories. Pre-war. Faded to all heck of guys dressed like this. Putting on the hat and trench coat, I figured it'd let folks know I was serious about the whole thing. Clothes make the man and all that. Guess I felt they made me the man I wanted to be. So, that's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. But I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. My memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the... Don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius. Hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. Terrible. They really just threw you away? Sure did. It's quite the root. Mm -hmm. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a... Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution. Rather. But the kids... <laughs> uh -huh. I think his name was Jim. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to me. Here, so man, dear. It eventually turned into a pretty swell swamp. There's people. There. Mm -hmm. It's a surprisingly rare trait. Part of the reason I've stuck around this. Long. For Christ's sakes! You actually shoot And there you go again. Look alive. All right, now what were you saying? Time to talk now. Is something the matter? What? You just got... Uh, what do you remember about me? It's all pretty hazy from back then, but not... Single test chamber was my whole world for years. And someone was always watching. 
then one day you wake up on the other side and that's it they've cut you loose welcome to the brave new world with such people in it you know i'm not really interested in your past nick not a problem yeah. all right now that we're done Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we're gonna pretty much end it here. That was all the. That was pretty much some of the. Some of the. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, some of the uh, uh, mysteries that we solved, and I just wanted to let you guys know about that. This. Uh, if you're watching this, it's Tuesday. And uh, yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, be sure to we're on the road to 200 subscribers, and I will see you in the next video real soon. Peace. Alright, my freaking weapon stash is finally done. My weapon vault is finally done. All the weapons here you can see. All this good stuff. Yeah.